And welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert. We're, we're hanging out in the end, uh, specifically in this Amberlands biome, or Amberland biome, uh, trying to get Amber Gems, uh, because we're going to need them for what we're getting into today. But I've kind of got what I needed to get from here. Let's chuck down a waystone and pop back to the factory. So, what we're going to be crafting today, uh, well, we need, we need infused ender prop. Well, that was some lag. There's a lot of lag that just happened. Um, we need some infused ender pearls, um, and that requires blocks of dimensional shard, which we've been getting. Um, I actually got some of that from the end as well. Ender pearls, obviously also from the end, but these blocks of crystallized chorus. Now we can get that with a fluid mixer and that needs ender slime and liquid chorus, which turns out you can get from ether logs and pythodin pythodendron logs. Yes. So we've got we've got an ether log here. We can we can chuck this one down, I guess, here. And he's, I think, slowly going to get. Is this facing the right way? I think he's slowly going to generate. Is this not facing the right way? Does it have to go on the front? Maybe that has to go on the front. Or does it have to be an actual tree? Maybe these have to be actual trees. Uh, because we can use the arboreal extractor, it might actually need to be an entire tree. Oh. Yeah, because that's really not... That's really not doing anything. Okay, well that's fine. We can we can get some saplings of that. Uh, let's just chuck some of this other stuff away. I don't need to be carrying all of this on me right now. So... In order to get some of these saplings, we required not raw amber, but amber gems, which comes from raw amber, which is an ore that's only found in the amber lands in the end. So... We need a ether sapling. Now, I'm sure I've actually got some of these around already. These ones actually just take emeralds. But a pythodendron. A pythodendron sapling requires amber gems. So I guess we'll get a couple of these. Um, and I wasn't actually going to be setting these up, but it looks like we might have to. Um, my inventory is a a little bit of a mess at the moment. Um, I guess for setting these up... I mean, it would kind of make sense to have it outside of the factory. Lovely, lovely. Uh, and then we put down a couple of these saplings. So I think these guys are actually kind of big. Do I want to...? I mean, that's kind of a cool tree. Uh, if we put one here... And one of these ones, I guess a few blocks away. Oh, you have to go on in stone by the look of it. Guess that makes... Oh. Chorus Nylium. Oh, this might be a mushroom. Well, I guess I need to go and find some of that. Chorus Nylium. Okay, so the biome you're looking for is the Ethereal Islands. Nice. And I actually suspect that it might take multiple saplings to grow these trees. Um, we'll, we'll grab a, a bunch of that chorus nylium, and I guess I try and take down one of these trees. These things are actually massive. All right, so I think I think these trees are going to be pretty big. Okay, he's a little bit grown into this one, which. I mean, isn't ideal, but should be okay. And now... Maybe just need some time. We'll, we'll leave him. Now, it did kind of look like... Uh, these ones might be a bigger style tree. That's not really doing anything, is it? Now, it does have, like, a, in the picture, like, two logs and leaves. But the other one doesn't really need it. Hmm... Oh, <laughs> whoa, uh, that's pretty big. That's, um, 
It might be too big. It might be too big. That is a very large tree. I wonder if the way it works, if it's literally just picking up whether there are some like leaves nearby. So if we did, if we did this, and it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be working. But then like if we grab this guy and we put him beside this tree, he's working instantly. Huh. Oh. He's away? Well, I mean, it looks like he's going to do something. Um, if we just... He's getting liquid course. Okay. Ah. Oh, I think this... <laughs> this situation did work. Um, okay, well if that's the case, I might actually take this tree down, because it's it's big. I might even take this one down as well, <laughs> and then we'll just make little custom trees, and they could actually go in the factory. Yeah, because this, this guy's a, it's a little bit large. Okay, so doing a bit of messing around, I can't actually get these uh, boreal extractors to work on the big trees. Um, and I think before when it was working on the small one we made, that's actually not intended um but because it doesn't work on these naturally placed trees and i'm not sure why i did happen to come across a way we can get around it so the reason you can't use manually placed trees is if we check on f3 mode um on the sort of middle right hand side you see persistent equals false so that's essentially what a leaf looks like, or a leaf block looks like, if it naturally spawned. So we look at this one and it says persistent equals true. Um, so these won't count, they're not counted as valid leaves. But if we place down one that we, we took from a tree, we can see that it's got persistent equals false. So, I think we should be able to I can grab some leaves. We, we don't need to look at that screen anymore. Um, this should work. Now, this is an exploit. This is not intended. Um, it's supposed to only work on naturally spawned trees. But because it's not, um, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it this way. So these should now count as persistent equals false. And now it works. Okay, so this should work. Um, there's, there might be a nice way to run these cables. Maybe I'll move them across one. Yeah, it's not a. It's not going to be a great way, just because of uh, you know, have to run the pipes underneath. So, is a liquid chorus? There is our ender slime. And I guess we should actually be putting this into tanks. Which might let us make it a bit tidier. Um, but okay. And then once he gets enough air pressure. Which we'll just, we'll just do this old trick. Um, we should start getting these blocks of crystallized chorus. And really we just need one. <laughs> and then we can kick off a craft of this infused enderpearl. Uh, and we just need the one. We just need the one. But there we go. He's started. He could go faster. Nice. Our first block of crystallized chorus. Um, this might be used for other things. Then again... Actually, no. This is the one thing that's used for. Okay, so we can set up, I guess we set up the auto crafting for this. I mean, we'll just do, we'll just do one for now. So, enderpearl, dimensional shard, and this is going to take a lot of power. Nice. 
And uh, we've got one decent uh, energy rod there. Yeah, but yes. It's gonna... It's gonna take a long time for this to happen. <laughs> We're at 1%. But that's cool. We just need the one. I can, while that's happening, um, work on getting the other bits and pieces ready. Next step, we've got everything. I think I'm just going to AFK this. While we're waiting for uh, stuff to craft, we can uh, run along and do some maintenance in the base. Like actually making use of uh, that sigil of the blood lamp we made a while ago. Just, uh, you know, lighting up some dark areas. And you know, why not a, why not a max size beacon giving us speed too while we're in our base? Uh, 77%. Oh, and we're struggling for power? I think I know why. I think we need to upgrade our power cables. Um, but we're of course going to need to upgrade it the whole way along. But uh, yeah, this is a <laughs> solid diamond biggest beacon. And this is all the diamonds I have left. So, you know, we're, we're doing alright, we're doing alright. It looks absolutely horrendous, but, um, yeah, I kind of want to, like, extend this room out a bit so that it's slightly more symmetrical. I feel like I have to now. Alright, we got our infused enderpearl and the other bits and pieces we need. Let's get ourselves this rune of mana. This should be pretty cool. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too much mana. I guess we'll find out. That's speed boost from the beacon school. <laughs> um, do we have enough mana in this mana pool? We do. Nice. And I have Batania quest. And we got an incense stick. If we check in all of these. Nice. Slowly filling that. I probably need to start up the Gormoralis again. Oh yeah, we're we're getting some uh, food stashed away in there. Uh, and then it's just this guy, and I think all I need is the liquid starlight. And I just slept. I keep. I need to stop sleeping all the time when I've got things to craft and astral sorcery. All right. So we're gonna have to deal with mobs, and uh, it's actually pretty good armor that just dropped. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to set up our astral thing up here. I might have to get some more of those anti-mob spawn torches, I think. Um, but I should be able to get four of these. Uh, somewhere I have my astral wand. Make sure we claim this area. Oh, it's already claimed. Nice. Unintentional. There are our light wells. Um, for now, let's just put them here. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, and then we need some aqua marine. I guess we take most of it. And uh, we'll put some of these torches around the place just to help control the mob spawns. Not being super efficient with them, just uh, just trying to trying to help. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere! All right, let's take advantage of the starlight we have remaining, or the nighttime we have remaining. Just need to generate a bucket. Cool. Bucket of starlight. This will let us craft our starlight altar. We don't have enough starlight. Ooh. Um, okay. Well, if we grab all of these bits and pieces, uh, it's actually going to be a slight issue. Yeah, maybe I should build my astral sorcery thing higher up. Um, but there we go. That'll do. Nice. So we can, of course, boost our starlight. Oh, nice. And let's pick this up. Oh, we kept our liquid starlight. That's nice. <laughs> but hey, 
that has completed pretty much <laughs> pretty much the final quest for this. I've got to somehow summon a transport spirit uh, and create the sacrificial knife, but I'm not really planning on using it, so I'll probably just do that in between episodes and that'll knock off these quests. And then we're kind of into the master magic quests. Um, I don't know how much of this we need to do. And if we can just start working back on some tech stuff, because I would like to get back into back into this stuff. Um, yeah, there was something to do with harvesting and whatever that needed some magic things. I guess we'll, <laughs> we'll see how we go. Crafting that astral sorcery thing that lets you see. Yeah, this. It lets you see dark areas. Maybe I'll craft one of them and we'll find, we'll find an area with some, some decent starlight because I don't want to have to have my astral sorcery thing way up in the sky. It, it could look kind of cool, but unless you're just going to have like a really narrow tower, you'd need to construct quite a large structure. It would be nice to just have it here, but we might not have enough starlight. And this is also going to be an issue. I thought I'd quickly craft uh, or try and get the stuff for making the Fosic Resonator, but yep. Although I could take the gold out. Yeah, I could do it, but yeah, no. <laughs> We need, we need to, uh, there we go, he's back online, but now there'll be no starlight. We need to work on some better power generation. We got ourselves the starlight crafting altar. We got some uh, little bit exploity <laughs> trees getting that crystallized core stuff. That's okay, that's okay. But hey, thanks for watching. Why is there a tiny bee following me around? Why is there a tiny bee following me around? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why there's a tiny bee, but uh, cool. All right, <laughs> I have I have no idea what that is, but anyhow, uh, yeah, we'll we'll come back next time and back into some tech. Back into some tech. We need to sort our power generation. That is a major issue we need to resolve. Anyway, it's been classic stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll come back next time and yeah, tech. I think we'll probably find out we need some magic stuff immediately. But uh, tech, tech. We're getting back into tech.